Hello friends! As the title suggests, today we will learn about I am GUI. In case you don't already know, I am GUI is a graphical user interface library. In other words, we can use it to create fancy hack menus. It can also be used to draw arbitrary shapes, for instance ESP rectangles or bones. I believe this to be the most requested subject by far, so let's finally do this right after the intro. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. That's a hacking group we've been reporting on that's claimed responsibility for recent attacks. This tutorial builds upon my previous video how to hook DirectX 11. So if you have not done so already, go ahead and watch that one first. Before we can start using IMGUI, we need to add it to our project. So let's head over to their GitHub page and download the required files. We can do so either by cloning the repo or by downloading the latest release. Then we copy all code files from the root and whatever we need from the backends folder. Generally, those are the two Win32 files and two more depending on our target. In this demonstration, those are the DX11 files. After adding that new folder to our project, we are finally ready to code. First, we include all required header files. You need the IMGUI internal one only if you want to draw those arbitrary shapes. Inside the detour of the present function, we initialize everything IMGUI related. Using these three functions, create context, win32 init and dx11 init. Win32 init requires the target window handle and dx11 init the device as well as the device context. To get the device, we can use the getTheDevice method provided by the swap chain interface. If that succeeds, we can then use the device to get the context. The window handle can be obtained by reading the swap chain description. That is everything those IMGUI init functions need, but we need to state where we want IMGUI to render. You can see this down here. First we set the render target view and only after that we tell IMGUI to actually render. So what we need is the render target view. First we get the interface to the back buffer using the appropriate method. Then we create the render target view. The first parameter is the render target. Here we pass the back buffer. Meaning, when the render target view is active, we directly render to the back buffer. I hope this made sense, I'll link more resources in the description. That's all we need for the back buffer interface, so let's release it. This does not the destroy the back buffer itself, it only releases the p back buffer object. This next line is crucial, here we hook the window procedure function. In essence, what this function does is handle all events for the window, such as mouse clicks and keystrokes. So if you cannot interact with your IMGUI window, or if you can, but you also click stuff behind the window, then chances are the issue is with your uh, VND proc hook. Here we see what my hook does. First we declare the appropriate IMGUI function. We have to do this because it is not declared in the IMGUI win32 header file, but it is defined in the win32 cpp file. Inside we just call that function and return true in case that call returned no error. Otherwise we call the original uh, vnd proc function instead. I cannot stress this enough. The way your target handles events may be very different from what I do here. Maybe or maybe not my approach works for you, if it doesn't, this is the right place to start looking. Let's get back to the present detour. After setting the VND proc hook, we call these three IMGUI init functions I mentioned in the beginning and we are done with the initialization. Outside of the init part, there are a few things we need to do every frame in case the IMGUI stuff shall show up. First call the new frame methods. 
then draw everything we like. Afterwards, end the frame, prepare for rendering, so we can call get draw data. Then we set the render target view. Remember, we do this so I am GUI renders to the back buffer. And then we actually render. Last but not least, we of course call the original present function. That was quite intense and I'd love to get to the fun part, but we gotta take care of one more thing first, which is cleanup. We do so down in the main loop. Again, three IM GUI calls, then release all things uh, DX11. So the render target view, the context and the device. Here again something many people struggle with. Unhook the VND proc function by setting it back to the original. Okay, now to the fun part. Let's draw some things. First we draw the demo window. This is very useful for exploring all the things IM GUI has to offer. If you see something in the demo you want to use in your own code, just grab it from the code from the demo file. Next we create another window. The second parameter is used to read and write if the window is currently open. We have some text, a checkbox and a slider. The value of the checkbox is stored in the show canvas variable. So if the checkbox is checked, we also draw all the things inside this if statement. Here is where we draw anything we want inside the game window. This basically works by drawing a transparent window over the whole game window, so a bit like an external overlay. Then we can use the draw list of that window to add shapes to it. For instance, a rectangle, a circle or even whole images. I'll use this in an upcoming video to create a radar. Let me give you a quick demonstration of the result. This is the demo menu and this our own custom menu. If I check the checkbox, we draw our shapes. If you want to get inspired, check out this thread on unknown cheats. Or maybe even post your own creation to farm some rep. Or more likely receive some harsh but fair criticism. And that's it for today. As always, thank you very much for watching, join the discord, subscribe for more hacking videos. Until next time friends, talk to you soon.